It is I, Professor von Himmel, and I am here to announce that unfortunately the love sub has gone back in time. Yes, yeah, so that they could be back in 1973 for Christmas. But before Dr. Woodstock left, he left me this wonderful Christmas socks. Aren't they beautiful? <laughs> oh, yes, he's such a kind man. Well, I am excited because today I have a special mission, all my own, a top secret mission. We are going to try to go through the entire Bible, everything we learned this year, in five minutes. I know what you're thinking. That's impossible. But is anything impossible for God? No. Of course not. Okay, let me get the Bible out right now. And it sings like that. Oh, it's so beautiful. You know, the Bible has a lot of Bible uh, little bookmarks in there. That means we're going to learn a lot of stuff today. Well, this is good. The, good. the Bible is filled with wonderful stories. And together, they combine to make the story of God and his people. So we are going to start at the beginning, of course. Because in the beginning, God created everything. But especially, he created people. He created people, me and you, and he created us for a purpose. He wanted everyone to love him. And so that's why he, lo he loves all of us who he made. Yes, many times God said that he wanted his people to obey him and to be his people and he would be their God. Yes, God even told Jeremiah in this promise. Let's see what the Bible has to say about what God said to Jeremiah. Show me that promise up there. We will read it together. God said, obey me. And I will be your God, and you will be my people. Walk in all the ways I command you, that it may go well with you. You see that God is asking us to be his people and to obey him. He always wanted to be our friends and to be our people and for us to be his children. Not just the Israelites. Oh, the Israelites are an important part of God's story. But, you see, the prophets came to give God's people the warnings. What did they give him? The warnings? There was three things. The warnings. The, ch yes. the choice. And what's the third one? The promise. Yes. So God gave us all of those things. And he promised that we should return to God and seek him. Now, even though a few people tried very, very hard, no one could completely obey God. Did you know that, that if you tried all by yourself, you cannot obey God? No, because we always do wrong things and disobey God and do things that are wrong in his eyes. And what are those things called? Sin. Yes, you have been paying attention. Good. They are sin. And God gets really, really sad when people sin. But he wants us to be close to him and to be his people. So God sent someone to make a way that we could be with him forever. What is his name? Shout it out. Jesus. Jesus! Yes, we just celebrated his birthday. Yes, excellent. And Jesus came to take away our sins. He sent his own son, Jesus, and all who believe in him are forgiven and get to be close with God in heaven forever and even here on earth. See, that's who God's people are today. Today, all of God's people are not just the Israelites back in Bible time, but all who believe in Jesus. So I am a part of that story because I follow Jesus. And so are you. You are God's people. Believers, non-believers, people from Bible times, each of us today, everyone is part of the story. But those of us who believe and follow Jesus are his children who will be in heaven with him forever. Oh, there's so many amazing parts of this story. I just wish I could tell you all of them. But one of my favorites is about Elijah. So let me see. I think I saved the bookmark in that space. Oh, look at this. These bookmarks have riddles on them. Are you kids good at riddles? Yes. All right. Let's try something. I will read the riddle, and you raise your hand if you think you know the answer. And if I pick on you and you get it right, I'll give you a prize. Okay. Here's the first one for about Elijah. God promised Elijah he'd take him higher. God took him to heaven in a chariot of... Raise your hands. Raise your hands. Raise your hands. Yes, what is it? Horses. No, not horses. What do you think it is? I don't know. Back here. Yes. Oh, fire! Excellent! There's a smarty for you because you're just such a smart smarty. Yes, very good. So let me say it again. God promised Elijah he'd take him higher and her answer was God took him to heaven in a chariot of Fire! Remember we learned that story when the chariot of fire came down to collect Elijah? <laughs> you guys want to try another one? Yes. 
Yeah, let's try another one. Let's see what else we got. Okay, here's a good one. <clears throat> God has a plan if we seek his way. He is the potter and we are the... Raise your hand if you know the answer. What do you think it is? Sheep? No, we're not the sheep. No, no. What, 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 what? Children? No, we are his children, but that's not the answer. What do you think it is, Sarah? Clay. Clay, excellent. woo Here we go. God has a plan. If we seek his way, he is the potter. We are the clay. Hey, I think these rhyme. I'm getting a pattern here. Okay, you want to do another one? Yeah. All right, let's see. Let's see how we're doing. Okay. Oh, you remember when we learned about King Darius? Yes, and the prophet Daniel. Okay, this one's about them. God punished Daniel, and then... Oh, I'm sorry, King Darius... Not, not, uh, let me read it again. King Darius punished Daniel, and then God rescued him from the lions... Patrick? Yeah. Yes, very good! Oh, you're a smart, smarty too. <laughs> Excellent. You guys are doing great. All right, let's see if you know a couple more. We got time, but just two more. Jesus died for God's people to save... Then on Easter, God raised him from the... What do you think it is? Dead. No, not from the dead. No, what do you think it is? Wait, me? Yes. Oh, from the cross? No, oh, not from the cross. Oh, let me hear Oh, I haven't picked you. Yes. From the grave. Yes, very good, Ethan. Let's read it again. Jesus died for God's people to save. Then on Easter, God raised him from the... Grave, yes! Okay, last and final one. Drum roll, please. Yes. <laughs> oh, this is an important one. Listen up. The greatest commandment for God's people to obey is love the Lord with all your heart, every single... What do you think? Yes? What is it? Me? Yes. You, you want... No? Every, what did you say? Day. Day, that is correct. You finally got it. There you go. You are a smart smarty. You guys did so great. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? That's important that we learn that. We need to love God every day, you see, because that's what wraps up everything that we have learned all year. All year long, we've been learning the story of God and his prophets. But guess what the story is really about? Love. It's about love. In the beginning, God created us because he loved us. And he asked us to obey him because he loves us. And he wants us to be his people because he loves us. And if we obey God and follow him, we can share in that love all of the days of our lives. And later when we get to heaven, we can love him forever, ever, ever more. Oh, that's a wonderful gift. God loves us so much that he sent his only son. Yes, and that was his gift for Christmas time. Well, I guess my five minutes is over. We have gotten through everything we wanted to study this whole year, which is amazing. Time flies when you're sharing God's word with friends. Okay, kids, speaking of time, remember what Dr. Woodstock always told us. No matter where you are in time, say it with me. God is good all the time. Peace. Happy New Year. <laughs>